All right, in this video we're going to fill in the engine bolt torque chart and I'll show you what that looks like. First thing we want to do is put in a bolt name. So let's say we are going to fill in this one and this would be maybe a, a, a cylinder head bolt. So you can write down cylinder head and um, let's first start by filling in a standard bolt. So we put in S for standard right there. Uh, bolt grade, let's assume that it's a grade 5 bolt. Sometimes it'll be a grade 8 bolt, but I'll show you how to do that on the chart. Uh, bolt size, the bolt size is measured uh, the di at the diameter of the threads, so we're not talking about bolt length or the bolt head size, and if you need, we need to review any of this just to make sure you have it right, go back um, to step 1 where you did a uh, bolt measurement. And so let's say the bolt size in this case is, uh, let's say it's a 3 8 bolt, and that's in inches. The thread pitch we've measured, and let's say we found 16. And now we want to find our bolt torque. Well, in order to find the bolt torque, we go to our bolt torque chart. And you can see over here we have grade 5. That means there's these three dashes right there. We'll go down to where it says 3 8 and then it has a dash and then 16. So 3 8 is your bolt size. 16 is your thread pitch. You slide over and the number that we want to look at here is this 19. The 19 is in foot pounds and we want to change it to inch pounds. So therefore we would go over to bolt torque. We would go 19 times 12 which is inch pounds uh, makes goes from foot pounds to inch pounds and then we would write that number right in this space right here so if we have a metric bolt we'll go uh, I'll just type an M in here for a metric whatever the bolt name of it is we would go in and let's say we we saw a 8.9 bolt grade could be a 10.9 or other and the bolt size when we measure it is uh, 10 millimeter and the thread pitch is 1.50 millimeter so now we need to go to a different chart and that one we'll find down here and this is for metric bolts you can see uh, I said 9.8 could be 8.8 .8. if it is 9.8 you can round it down to 8.8 .8 because we don't want to over torque them and we're going to go over here. We've got uh, M456, 7, 8, 10. That's our bolt size. So we're going to look at this column M10. And M10 by 1.5 thread pitch, which makes sense. We slide over to this area over here. And you can see this is our class or our grade area right there, 8.8. .8. So we're going to go over here in the plain and dry category. We're talking, we're not going to put any oil on it. If it, that was the case, it would be lubricated. It's not zinc plated, so we're going to do the plain and dry. And it says 37.2. That, of course, is in foot pounds. So for your e engines, we want to say 37.2 times 12. And you'll write that right in this square right here. You find out what that is, and you write that in. I want you all to make sure that all of your numbers here are in inch pounds so that we don't make a mistake because if we torque something uh, too high we could break the bolt we could break the engine and that would require us to fix it and that's no fun so that's how you fill in the bolt torque chart just so that you make sure that you have the proper bolt torques specifications for every bolt in your engine